Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Good, good morning, guests. Good morning, colleagues. Uh, quite, quite a number of colleagues here today. Um, it's my pleasure to be hosting this uh, Huawei breakfast. I think the topic today is about the EU-China investments, and and the question is that if it's really a valuable or a win-win, you know, uh, for both sides. I think it's a uh, the answer is so obvious, and but probably the reason or different people see the reason can be different, you know, for the true value can bring to the two, uh, to the two sides. If the investment from China will benefit for for Europe, the answer is yes. Europe, I really encourage all the policymakers to really look at China as a cocktail, as using your telescopes, using your microscopes, and to see what kind of policy, what kind of regulation, what kind of attitude you put into the China, and you welcome the right investment you want. And give your alliance a little bit of encourage and a welcome, and they will help you do a lot of more jobs. You must understand, Huawei is one of the companies I just mentioned. And basically, we really you know, implement all our strategy, therefore, to be, in, to be fully integrated with European industries, European in, uh, uh, economic systems, and we want to invest in Europe more and more. So this is all we would like to expect, to uh, have a very win-win, let's say, trade and investment environment between Europe and China. If we want, and I think this is a legitimate approach, that on both sides there is added value created, then the Chinese investors need to understand that it is in their own interest to provide not only a nice price for the company they want to buy and its technology behind, but also afterwards it's important to invest to keep the technological excellence of the acquisition. And I think our host is a very good example in this respect, which is unfortunately not followed by all Chinese investors in Europe. Uh, Huawei has uh, already established uh, research centers in Europe and uh, are cooperating with research uh, uh, entities in Europe. I think that's a very good approach because it will not be possible, in my view, at least for a foreseeable future, to keep this performance from China. So we have to see uh, in which area could uh, Europe and uh, the global uh, trade be more transparent? Uh, what can we do to have a win-win situation? Uh, and therefore, I think it's very clear that the infrastructure uh, the cooperation in infrastructure, the cooperation in research and science, uh, and uh, we can still learn a lot from the Chinese side. Uh, in China, uh, we are seeing also at the same time in parallel that there is a process of uh, domestic reform. There's been a transition in, uh, in leadership recently, uh, and uh, we are expecting uh, uh, the new leadership to uh, confirm its uh, uh, continued willingness in the reform, the domestic reform process, be because that will be an important element of uh, uh, the content of the agreement that we intend to negotiate with China. As you know, you might have seen in the press that uh, uh, Commissioner De Wood has been insisting uh, that uh, uh, we want to make sure that in addition to protection we can uh, uh, discuss also on market access. Mr. Leo Sun mentioned that uh, before. Uh, uh, market access is very important for us and is what makes uh, what makes an investment agreement make sense for the EU side, but also for the Chinese side, because uh, uh, China is not only in, in interested in investment protection, but uh, as uh, as it is uh, now becoming uh, as much a capital exporter as a capital importer, now uh, they, they are developed. China is developing its own offensive interest also on investment. So we think that the discussion to be comprehensive is important for both sides, so to cover both uh, protection and um, and liberalisation. What is key for the investment agreement is to first design and put in place identical criteria for investments on <coughs> two sides, number one. And number two, it will be more difficult for Europe to accept the, the very idea of having common standards for the Chinese inverse investments in Europe having in mind the very bilateral nature of the deals between member states and China.